You guys are not close. You're like not even fam. So annoying. Why do you keep saying that? He Except told yours. me. He says he's not close to you guys. I don't think. Maybe like, you need to fix that, not me. Well, he's denying it. He's saying you're lying. You said that. When I said, did you tell him? He goes, we don't talk like that. I was like, all right. Well, you said you want to talk about this video? No, that's not what you said, Moses. Oh my God, see, I hate this. That's not what he said. But that's why, whatever. He's literally just, he literally said that. I wouldn't make that up. That's such a random thing to make up. But he, you know that. You know he's not close. He leaves all the time. He doesn't stick around. Like, he's not here to stay. He comes and pieces out. Okay. Don't worry. She's not going to drive a wedge between us. People have been wondering. I am totally not in communication with Moses or Trisha. I don't know anything about what's going on in their lives. I don't know anything about the wedding. We are not attending the wedding. Yes, but we're next to like our friends. Like we have friends. So like. Yes, Moses hates Ethan. Moses has a philosophy. You either love everyone or hate everyone. I personally believe that you either love everyone or hate everyone. There's no middle ground. If I could only pick one or the other in how Moses feels about Ethan, I'm going to say that Moses hates Ethan because there is no in-between. So I, I really can't wait to get to the infamous Frenemies episode 13. But in order for me to get to that, I would be remiss if I overlooked what happened on number 11 because there's certain things that happen that totally play out in number 13. And I want to say that this is another show that I would like to go back and really dissect but right now i'm going to skip over because this is the episode where they did the carpool karaoke and the goat yoga i'm skipping over all of that for now we'll go back to it another time because there's still a lot of gems in here but we will look into that at another time but right now i have to just show you guys why i always knew that moses did not like ethan and again taking moses philosophy i would have to say he hated ethan and right here is the obvious moment so when i finally watched this episode i was like yes i knew it but it's because of something i watched earlier on when i first came to this realization and i want you guys all to see where i am coming from and let me know if you agree with me because a lot of people blame Trisha for the breakdown of Hila's family and Trisha has her share of blame, believe me. But Moses has the brunt to bear for this relationship falling apart, for the family falling apart. I cannot wait for Mysterious to drop her next series on Trisha's relationship because she's so thorough. I can't wait to watch what she's going to do. But before that drop, I want you all to see why I think Moses has a big share of blame into the breakdown of his family are you gonna come to our wedding of course why wouldn't i he told me i don't know if it was, it was like kind of like a proposal but half-ass proposal he's like he goes well we have the house so of course we're gonna get married now i'm like well is that a proposal or like what because he, <laughs> he keeps saying that stuff to me he's like well we're gonna be married i was like i don't get why i think he's i think if i had to guess he's testing the water oh like he thinks i'm gonna say no could you imagine that'd be like the shock well, you you me. really want to make sure the girl says yes if you know what you're doing don't take her to like a Dodger Dodger game and propose on the field and then, you know, like these <laughs> assholes. No. These, she says no. It's like, bro, mm. I didn't know my intentions. His intention is to marry you. Oh, wow. That's what he's saying right now. Well, maybe apologize to my sister so she can come to the wedding. I will. I think you have some work to do. So you see that. Trisha says, yeah, maybe you should apologize to my sister. Hmm. Huh. There was an issue between Moses and Trisha's sister. And she saw that Moses was in the wrong and she wanted him to apologize. So here they kind of briefly mention it. But it's just interesting to see how Trisha handles a problem in her family and how she instructs Moses on what to do to rectify the problem. Which I commend her on because when you're a couple and you have family and they have family and they have to interact, there will be disagreements and arguments and situations. But it's how you handle that situation so we see trisha who is showing her family values <laughs> you don't see but i'm using quotation marks but she's wanting the rift in moses and her sister's relationship she wants that to be mended and she is actively working on that to happen which i commend her for because you want people in your family and your significant other to at least be peaceful around each other at least try to come to a solution to whatever problem that's happening. Would First. you come to the wedding? I said yes, of course. Why would I not come to the wedding? I don't know if we could invite you because I think we're having a small like affair. 
My brother-in-law and my friend don't invite me. Could you imagine? I mean, I'll be like, all right, fuck it. I don't, I, mean, I don't need to leave care? the house. You wouldn't care? I'd be surprised. I'd be a little, I'd be offended, yeah. Yeah, I, I would be offended too. It'd be weird if my sibling is getting married. So I'm speaking as for Gila because I would think if Ethan is invited, Gila would be invited. So if I were Gila, yeah, I would be offended if my sibling was getting married and I wasn't inviting. And the wedding is small, okay, but I wasn't invited. I would feel a ways about it. It's only natural. But I wouldn't be like, I depend how small is it? Are you going to invite like <laughs> other people you know from YouTube? Like, like Shane? Oh, well, duh, that's my best man. Like, that's my best man. So, so why the fuck Shane get an invite and I don't? Because he's my best what friend. What about my, br what about his sister? He says he's not close with you guys. His word's not mine. <laughs> she says, Moses says he's not close with you guys. His word's not mine. I totally believe Trisha in this moment. 100% Moses said that to her. And again, all she's saying now is, oh, he said that you guys aren't close. I believe that Moses said, yeah, we're not close. I'm not close to them. Why do I believe it? Because these messages. This is an exchange of Moses and his ex-girlfriend or friend, however you want to say they were, but someone who he confided in. And he was saying the exact same thing, that they weren't close. But let's continue on. Oh my okay. God. That's I gonna... you, <laughs> well, I mean, I... Stop no, I right like... Now. And did you notice that cut right there? Let me just play it back. No, he's my best friend. What about my... Br what about his sister? He says he's not close with you guys. His word's not mine. <laughs> Oh my god. That's why show you. you see that cut? There was some kind of cut. Something happened and it was cut out. Okay. This plays a part in the infamous Frenemies number 13. So yes, we have to dig into this number 11 to understand what happens in number 13. Right here. Right here. Something happens. <laughs> I like anyways. You gotta I stop the madness. And like Ethan said, we better stop the madness. Something was said out of line. That's why he's like, stop the madness. They cut stuff out because something was said. Everyone um, are invited. And you hear Moses. All right. This is now Trisha saying, he told me he wasn't close to you. Moses told me he wasn't close to you. And Moses' response that we hear here is, everyone's invited. Moses, what kind of response is that? Everyone's invited. First of all, everyone is not invited. You need to be specific. You need to say, Ethan and my sister are invited. Not everyone's invited. No, 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 no. We need you to be specific in this moment. I want you to say, Ethan and Hila are invited to my wedding because they are my family but you did not say that you said everyone's invited so then where's my invite moses where is my invite dan and his girlfriend are invited you not so much well see yeah that would confuse me fan. dan's girlfriend's a, like oh, likes only me. fans can get only invited. fans that's yeah anyways well it, uh, we're good so big announcement we're good we we're happy house. we've all apologized do you accept my apology Always, yes. Thank you. Always and you, accept the and, and, and Moses is working hard to make things right. They bought a house, so apparently that means you forgive him. Moses is, like, so handsome, smart, funny, like, Just has a good job. bad TikToks. <laughs> Only negative bad TikToks. Okay, everyone. This is where I was like, yes, Moses does not like Ethan. Yes, according to his philosophy, Moses hates Ethan. Just right there. Look at Trisha saying all these positive things about Moses. He's this, he's that. And what did Ethan have to come in and say? He makes bad TikToks. And look at that smirk on Ethan's face. <laughs> I picture Ethan when he was younger, like a little boy, as just a mischievous little boy with a smart mouth and he will say whatever it is he had to say to you you couldn't get one over on ethan he would always have something to say back to you that's why i picture him as a little boy and even that right there you might think oh, okay so joke's a joke okay no, no 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 let's see how far this joke goes horrible tiktoks okay okay trisha said horrible 
old TikToks. Ethan said bad TikToks. Trisha kicks it up a notch and says horrible TikToks. And she's laughing. And she's laughing. Like, oh yeah, everything's all lighthearted, right? You think so? You think so? Okay, let's just say, oh, they're all joking. Let's just say that. Let's see what happens next. The only thing worse might be his YouTube videos. Oh my God. Boo! The only thing worse might be his YouTube videos. So the only thing worse. So if she's saying the TikToks are horrible and then she said, but the only thing worse is his YouTube videos. So what's worse than horrible? I guess unwatchable. My guess it's his YouTube videos or unwatchable. Listen, she is not joking. Here's the thing. People think everything's a joke. You know, when you say something about somebody you're in a crowd, you know, group of friends, and you say one thing about your friend and everybody's laughing, everybody's laughing. You're like, oh, it was just a joke. And then that one friend is not laughing. I'll tell you why that one friend is not laughing, because you're not joking. You're telling the truth. And just because people are laughing and they're thinking, oh, it's a joke. No, the joke is usually something if you say it's the opposite. You know, you're being ironic. But when you're saying something that's true and you're laughing, that's not a joke. That's you telling truth. <laughs> so right now, Ethan and Trisha are laughing, but they are telling truth. Moses' YouTube channel is horrible. No, sorry, it's worse than horrible. And here's the fact that I think it's true. They, they both believe this. Ethan and Hila has never promoted his YouTube channel. And remember, he mentioned back here to his ex-girlfriend or friend or someone he was talking to before Trisha or even a little bit during Trisha, um, but I'm not going to get into their relationship, but you know, a friend of Moses and he wrote about how Trisha was always supportive of his channel and Ethan and Hila never mentioned his channel and only once that he started dating Trisha and Trisha was supporting him did they then start to mention his channel and give him that promotion. And of course, he's acting like he wasn't mad about it. But let me tell you this. He was mad about it. It irked him that he had this successful sister who was younger than him and a brother-in-law that made it on YouTube with the camera that he first bought them, their first camera. Hey, I only know this because he's mentioned it in a negative way. Like he's saying how like, oh, look how much I helped them at the beginning and they haven't shouted me out. Moses is upset about it. It irks him. And when Ethan makes little jabs because Ethan is funny I can picture those two together and Moses doing something and Ethan has a little jab about whatever Moses is doing and Moses is very soft-spoken and is not as witty at all as Ethan so I can see Ethan just throwing off these funny comments and Moses just sitting there fuming when I saw this you guys now he has his brother-in-law who he does not like according to his philosophy he would hate and his girlfriend at the time, soon to be fiance, soon to be wife, laughing about how horrible his channel is that he puts his blood, sweat, and tears into. They're laughing about how horrible it is. I'm telling you, he does not like Ethan. Here's the thing with Ethan. Ethan did not think that channel was anything to mention it. Ethan watches a lot of YouTube, goofs on stuff, likes watching controversial YouTube videos, and he comments on everything. And he didn't once think to comment on Moses' channel. Not even to goof on it, Ethan did not comment on his H3 podcast about Moses' channel. Ethan is speaking the truth. He thinks it's bad. His, well, he was talking about the TikTok, but I think also he thought his YouTube channel was bad, which makes sense that he didn't promote it. Whereas Trisha, who did promote his channel and did hype him up and promoted it and he was happy that she did, but you can see her inner thoughts. She doesn't think it's, it's anything. And now even with Trisha supporting his channel, he's still at 24,000 views. Now, I don't know what he had before this, but if he's only at 24,000 views and he's with a woman who has five 5 million subscribers and he only has 24,000 subscribers I mean he can't even get a YouTube plaque so it makes sense that even with exposure his channel is not exploding but don't get me wrong if I had 24,000 subscribers I would be the happiest person on earth but I think it more goes to show that his channel is not ready yet to promote and maybe that's why Ethan never promoted his channel and he might think oh my sister would have promoted my channel but it's Ethan that's stopping it because it's their business Ethan Ethan and Hila and for some reason they won't promote his channel he might blame Ethan more than Hila or both the same I guess okay so let's see what happens here does that offend you Moses no I just <laughs> this what 
He says, no, at least if you plugged it. I can't see Moses, but I'm telling you, his teeth were clenched. Oh, at least you're promoted it. His teeth were clenched, everyone. He's getting heated right now. Oh, uh, even, if, even, <laughs> even if you say it's bad, <laughs> Moses has a horrible channel, Channel Water. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> he's joking, but he's not joking. It's the truth. And he's playing off his, yeah, even if it's bad, Moses doesn't care. He wants the promotion. No, Moses does care. He does care. And let me tell you how bad he wants the promotion that Ethan would not give to him. Let me tell you how bad he wants it. No, but he like... No, it's fine. And see right there, Trisha was going to say more, but then she stopped herself. And I wish she said more because she wanted to go on a rant about the channel. And she even knows, okay, enough's enough. Moses, if you do not know, she can't stand your YouTube channel and she cannot stand your TikToks. And that's why I noticed you haven't even updated in three months. Because why? Trisha is keeping you from your passion project by keeping you involved in whatever stuff she's doing. Because she probably even says she won't tell you she doesn't like it, but she would probably say, oh, why are you working on your channel? It's not making much money. Let's, I need help over here and let's do my TikToks because it gets more views and you could do that later. So let's just focus on my stuff and then and when do you have free time then you can do your stuff but right now you have no free time she's gonna say it like that but i'm telling you so you know she does not like your channel she can't stand your channel and i'm proud of her right now for biting her tongue even though i wanted to hear what she had to say because she was gonna say more trash about your channel and before i move on and like i said that Moses even wants a mention. That's all he wants. He's craving for a mention as if a mention on H3 is going to change the world for his YouTube channel when no, if it's not kicking off by now with Trisha supporting it, it might be that, you know what, your channel is very niche and because of that, you can only get so much views and maybe Trisha kind of realizes that and she doesn't know how to tell you for some reason. Okay, but this is why I know Moses hates Ethan. He loves that channel. He loves that channel. Anytime he can, he promotes that channel. Look what happened on Frenemies number 20. Please, even though I don't like to jump ahead, I like I want to do these podcast things in order. We have to look to see what happens on Frenemies number 20. Yeah, this is when they were doing the Moses frenemies the newlywed game it. so at this point moses and trisha were engaged and they decided to do a game where they want to see which couples knows each other the best watch what happens here it's just no but you're right but they're all on my laptop yeah exactly <laughs> it's digital he told me he invented the photography that takes pictures of water he told me that too do you think that's real I, he seems to have a proprietary technique. I, I've never seen it. Yes, I'm the only one. Anywhere else. He's, he's, or, I mean, I, I don't think he invented the concept of photographing water, but I, I've never seen No, he did. Like that's what that. he said. No, no, I did. He's I the did. only one that's Oh, you're it. the... Oh, well, well, I mean, I'm not a historian. What do I know? <laughs> I'll take him at his word. Anyways, I right. take him at his word. I've too. never seen photographs like the one he takes, but I don't... I don't that's a big claim to say you invented <laughs> Yeah, it's a big water. invention, too. Okay. Are you, um, do you have a patent? Shark Tank patent. <laughs> Shark Tank. Yeah. Do you have a patent? It patent? was, it was on Wired Magazine. I mean, I'm the only person doing this. Are you patented? Um, no, because when you patent, oh. it's just a matter of putting the money into it, but no. Okay. <laughs> mm, not patented. Uh, mm. Someone's coming for the mm. brand after this. <laughs> they can try. I love you. <laughs> He never talks about that stuff with me because I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I'm like, okay. But I'm proud of you. I am proud of you. Just don't so <laughs> I did. I'm there. I'm right there with you. <laughs> no, I am. I think it's yeah. cool. No, it's it's amazing. At least he has a passion. Some people don't. I've always been impressed. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I've always been impressed by Moses. He always, he's always has like his apartment's <laughs> always like this crazy workshop. <laughs> Not our house. <laughs> That's You're why I'm gonna have like little plants myself. everywhere. Oh, okay, he, whatever. Let's yeah, talk about Yeah, he's bringing the plants. Yeah. He has his own basement. His basement. <laughs> the basement is his. <laughs> All right, this is a big one. This is a big one. Basement, Hopefully, uh, you guys remember. It's a nice basement. So this is for... It's not a basement. This is for everybody. Okay, so I didn't really stop and break down 
each part of that. But I wanted you to watch it with the emotion of what was really going on. Moses is so laid back, his natural demeanor. So even if he's mad, it's not that he's going to be angry and lash out. But during that interaction, when they're talking about his photography and the water and if he invented it and the little conversation trying to figure out if he did indeed an event taking pictures of water he was heated he was boiling he did not like that they were questioning if he invented that technique or not and it was Ethan Lee leading the charge Trisha just asking questions and even Hila dropping little bombs here and there about is it patent <laughs> and he said patent pending which is funny that was I have to admit Moses that was kind of funny but you didn't have a good delivery Moses was mad because Ethan was trivializing what he is passionate about and what he says he invented and did you catch the last little jab at the end where Trisha said oh he has his workshop or whatever his workstation is in the basement and then Ethan did that kind of laugh and was like basement huh <laughs> And did you catch at the end? Moses said, it's not the basement. He wants you to know he is not working in the basement. Why is he even upset about that? Is because Ethan laughing that he's in the basement is like, I think he was just making, playing off of the, the stereotype of you have a house and it's like <laughs> Moses is regulated to the dungeon to work. They supposedly bought this house together and his spot, his man cave, is in the basement. You know these YouTubers have their man cave and it's all decked out? No. We're picturing a dungeon basement, which is why Ethan was kind of laughing at him and why Moses felt that he had to correct him because his ego was bruised. I think e Ethan has a way of bruising Moses' ego. Ethan is younger than him, more successful than him, and is sort of a gatekeeper into Moses' accessing all these millions of people on YouTube. And because Ethan is that gatekeeper, Moses does not like him and according to his philosophy Moses hates him when I go over the whole episode I'll go in deeper but this is the first time when I watched this before I even saw episode 11 because I watched 20 live when it was happening all the late all these other episodes I watched when it was airing but when I saw this interaction that was when I was like whoa I don't know who this Moses guy is but he does not like Ethan at all <laughs> so let's go back to episode 11 check it out no but he like no it's fine we love it it's fine it's all good honestly if it makes him happy like so it's does fine. your family know that you guys bought a house together yeah we told them so what was their reaction they were happy you know what they're happy if i'm happy i still think he owes him an apology like you know like hmm. yeah but i shouldn't have to like tell him to apologize like that should be a no-brainer right away but anyways it doesn't matter um but yeah i mean 